Okay, the first step here is going to be um, to create a new uh, thread. So what we're going to do is create a, uh, a new class. So we're going to go in here, class, and we're going to call this our PyTask. And it's going to implement the interface runnable. Okay, and this is the interface java.lang.runnable runnable that we need to add in order to create a thread. So we're going to check this box here, Inherited Abstract Methods. And when we click Finish, we've got a skeleton class here um, for our new task. So the first thing we're going to do is add a member variable here, and we're going to create one called Pi, one of our compute uh, objects, and we'll call it the task. Okay, and let's just make it private. Okay, and now what we want to do is create a constructor. So what we can do is go to the source menu and say generate constructor using fields. We're going to pick the task. Okay, and there we go. We have our, our constructor. And now what we need to do is actually implement the run method. So let's go implement this method that Eclipse has stubbed out for us. And let's first of all print out notification that we're actually here in this thread. So we're just going to put a print line here that says computing pi. Okay. Second thing we're going to do is actually um, have the task be invoked. So it returns a big decimal. So let's go big, big decimal. And we'll call it result equals and then we'll just run the execute method on our pi task that we've added here. And we need to import the right library for big decimal. And then what we're done, when we're done with that, we're going to just print out the result. Okay, so we're going to say the result is, and then we'll put in the actual result and we'll put a period there for completeness sake. Okay, so there is a new task set up as a runnable. Now what we need to do is replace the code in our main routine and actually have this thing run. So let's go back up here. So here we were calling it inline, if you will, but what we want to do now is actually create a, a extra thread to run this. So we're gonna replace all of this code right here with some new code. So the first thing we need to do is actually create one of those new pi tasks that we just um, implemented the class for. So we'll call this the pi task my task and we'll just call the constructor on that and we'll pass in the pi object that we just created. Okay so now we have a runnable instance and now what we need to do is create a Java thread and pass that runnable to it. So we say thread, then we'll call this my thread. And then what we can do when we create the thread is we can pass the runnable object that we just created. Okay, so now we have a thread and we've given the thread constructor our runnable object that we want it to run. And now what we need to do is simply tell that thread to execute. So now we go my thread and we call start on it. Oops, I got a typo. My thread start. Okay, so now we have completed the program and now what will happen here is when I loop and I give it the digits it's actually going to come in here, create a new thread of execution, and the actual Pi computation is going to happen on a separate thread. So if we look at that Pi task that we just implemented, whenever we call thread start, it's going to create a new thread of concurrency within the context of our process, and it's going to start executing at this run method right here. 